Ah, this is the Selfir, the Warden of the Coffers. Thank you for bringing this resolution to me. I will act upon it at once. I am grateful that you have brought the Council's resolution to me with such haste, Pine Leaf. You didn't do anything like go and eat lunch between or anything like that, right? <laughs> As the Warden of the Coffers, it is my duty to maintain the guard upon the Treasury. To my relief, the Council agreed with my proposal that the guard upon the Treasury doors be increased. If the city is soon besieged, as seems certain, the gravest threat to the coin of the city might not be the enemies outside the walls, but the folk within them. Indeed, an unsavory group has already begun speaking out against the council and the steward, and I am sure they would try to pilfer the treasury if given the opportunity. I thank you for bringing this resolution to me. Alright. And that means the next one has to go down to the second, all the way down to the second circle. Oh boy, this is going to be a fun trip. Alright, now down to the down to the second circle. And see that was this boy. Another long trip. And I think the second circle is also where we near where we might find those two friends of ours. Now let us see how quickly we can get down there. All right, well. All right, good. Now we want the second circle. Any? So let's get to the second circle and find out where we need to go. We need which part of the second circle? South section of the second circle, and that will be somewhere along this way. I think even I can figure that out. First, we need to find out. Well, we're still heading south, so I presume that means we have to get all the way south. Let's see where... Yeah, a little bit more to go. This is a big city, that's for sure. They didn't exactly design it for... Mm, well, they didn't exactly design it for easily getting through, that's for sure. Just hope it slows down the enemy more than it slows down this hobbit. Alright, now let's see. This looks promising. Good day, sir. I am the captain of the garrison, and I take my duty most seriously. Thank you for bringing this to me so quickly, Pine Leaf. I am the captain of the garrison, which means the training and command of warriors in the city falls upon me. I take this duty very seriously. Ah! At the latest council meeting, I spoke on behalf of my men. The garrison lacks the weapons and armor needed to mount a true defense of the city, should our enemies breach the gate. Furthermore, we simply do not have enough men. To that end, I argued that the scouts should be recalled from Pelennor and Talatharnor and put to work as part of the garrison. Partha Dunn did not like this suggestion. When you have finished with this duty, perhaps you could see if his temper has cooled. The council did not agree with me, and there was much sympathy for the ideas of Parthodon. Still, the Guild of the Smiths has been commanded to double its production of weapons and shields, so the men I do have can hope to be better equipped for the battle ahead. It is not everything for which I had hoped, but it is something at least. Well, yes. 
southeast section of the sixth circle. Oh, they're killing me. <laughs> southeast section of the sixth circle. Well, let's see. And also, we want to find out. Where are, where are Dwaylin at? I forgot where I was supposed to find them at. Can be found in one of the towers in the lower. S <coughs> so I had to find some taverns. Well, let's see. where are the taverns in this city? That's the problem with the city. You can't tell the taverns from the rest of the buildings. Nope. I haven't figured out how to tell one from the other yet. But well, alright, this is about as low in the city as you can get. And maybe... Not too sure if I've really got time for a pub crawl, but... Let's see... There must be some way of finding where I need to go. Ah! Oh. See. They're writing all the names in Elvish. Wonderful. Well. Here. Getting well. Obviously, the name has something to do with an elephant, the mamook and keep, something like that. Oh, looky here! Well, hello there, Dwaylin. My brother and I have been teaching the folk here how to bring down a mumuk. Yes, greetings, pine leaf. My my brother and I have been teaching the folk here where to shoot at a mumak in order to bring it down. This crafted fellow is not as large as the one of the actual beasts. Ooh. Yeah, that's a bit of an understatement. Yes, but it still serves as good practice for letting fly our arrows. If you retrieve the arrows I have already fired and give them to my brother, he will be able to practice. He has been asking for his turn for a while now. Okay, thank you for stop. Thank you for not shooting while I recover the arrows. I was worried about that for a moment. All right, here we go. Have you seen our father around the city anywhere? I only ask because we have not yet seen him since we returned, and I'm afraid he might be rather cross with us. You see, he commanded us not to leave the city, but we left anyway. You understand, I am sure. There were Mumakil to hunt, and furthermore, we learned how best to bring down the mighty beasts. That must be worth something even to our stern and disappointed father. Find him in the city for us, finally. He will be atop the wall somewhere in the second circle, probably with a view of the gate of the city. And perhaps you could plead on our behalf for leniency? He will be stern, I do not doubt it, but perhaps you could convince him that we need not be reprimanded for this adventure of ours? It ended happily, did it not? Well, I will, uh, yeah, you go ahead and practice, and I will find your father. Top of the wall in the second. Well, we're in the second tier right now, aren't we? All right. So we just have to figure out how do we get to him. So that would be somewhere near the spire if it's going to have a good outlook. So we'll try around there first. Down here. We're going to be up on the wall. 
wall. Okay, can we go run across the wall and see how far that takes us? Mm. Well, not too many people up here. I can understand why. It's we. Well, if it comes down to a battle, we may have to be up here. But that's an entirely different matter. Now, maybe he's not on the wall. It looks like nobody's on the wall. I saw him be on the wall. I saw him, but I could only see smoke. Hmm. Okay, there are a couple of people there. Alright, so... Uh, they're long. But certainly not as active up here as it is down the main part of the city. Alright, yeah, hold it, here we go. Uh, this looks like someone who's a hard taskmaster. Uh, good day, sir. Are you Dwayne here? My sons must learn to obey my words, or they will be no sons of mine. I know you, Pineleaf. You are the hobbit that brought my boys back to the city. You have my thanks for that. I will have some words with them when I catch them. I don't mind telling you. I am the Lord of the Blackroot Vale, and within those boundaries my command is law. Outside of them, I am given authority over others by the grant of the council and the steward. But the affairs of my own house and over the actions of my sons, I have complete authority no matter where I am. <sighs> I commanded them to stay within the city for their own safety. What would I tell their mother if they had run afoul with some evil in Ithilien? Rosfin would... Never have let me hear the end of it. Tell me where they are, Pineleaf, and I will teach them obedience. Ooh, well, they did learn something about helping to kill those big elephants that the Eastern things, Southrons ride on. That might help. Uh, yes, I know the place. If you help my men finish gathering these bows, swords, and shields, I will meet you there. My sons will learn to obey my words, or uh, they will be no sons of mine. So, I need to collect some equipment to help in the fighting of these things. This is some sheets and swords. No spears? Well, at least there won't be much competition for them if I need a spear then. Unless everybody likes using spears and there are swords and bows around because nobody uses them. I doubt that. Alright, now let's see what else do we have. Alright. Let's head back to that elephant inn. Right, and it looks like he has arrived, and... Hi there, Duane here. How are things going? And, and furthermore, uh, furthermore... Uh... And as my sons, you are responsible for upholding my good name. If you do not do as I command, folk will look at your example and say, Duane here cannot even control his own sons. What sort of man is that? And furthermore... Fur uh, Oh. Hmm. Can I have a try? I will show you how this is done, I warrant. Uh, yeah, yes. Oh, a powerful hit, Dolphin. Yes, that's the way. Uh, why did you not tell me about this, Pine Leaf? This exercise seems to be quite a useful one. Uh, can I have a try, my son? Uh, I will sh... I will show you how it is done, I warrant. You will see your sire get on on the first try. I cannot stand mad at my boys. They get their skill at archery from me, you know. 
<laughs> all right. <laughs> Do you see? There is nothing to worry about after all. He has never been able to stay mad at Dwarf or me for very long. Our mother thinks we remind him of himself when he was young. Or perhaps old. He insists he has not changed after all. Uh, thank you once again, my friend. We will be here practicing our technique. If the battle comes, we will be ready. Alright. Well then. That's good. Now that we have taken care of that little problem. We now have to get back up to the sixth circle and speak with the Warden of the Green and see what we can do up there. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Pine Leaf in Gondor where we explore this ancient kingdom of Middle-earth. And this is Pine Leaf Needles reminding you to quest responsibly.